you want to know how your Coleman tent's going to hold up in the rain, I'm here to show you. In this video, we're going to be putting four different models of Coleman tents through a rain test to see if these tents are able to stay dry. Which tents are we going to subject to the storm? The four-person Coleman Sundome, the six-person Instant Cabin, the ten-person Darkroom Cabin, and the four-person Pop-Up. All four of the tents used in this trial have a very similar construction. All four tents are made out of a polyester fabric with a 3,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating or a 3,000 millimeter waterproof rating. Well, let's get started with the first tent, the Sun Dome. Boy, the wind's really picking up. That storm's rolling through. Now, Coleman says that their tents can sustain winds up to 35 miles per hour sustained wind. So we'll see how it performs during this storm. Oh, pretty windy. The storm is pretty crazy. Oh, one of the tent pegs just came up. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculously windy. It's not even raining yet. Man alive. I guess we're supposed to get some hail too. Oh, here's the rain. So at this point, you may have noticed by the way that those trees are bending that that wind is substantially more powerful than 35 miles per hour. This is the public service announcement reminding you to thoroughly check the weather before you head out camping. These winds ended up being very, very dangerous and you'll see as this unfolds exactly what happens next. Oh, it's raining buckets now! Oh my gosh! It's now pouring rain! We're gonna go inside and see if it's leaking! Wow! That's pretty serious! Oh wow, look at the rain come down! to the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sarah's here to rescue me. Oh my god, it blew the look! It blew the rain fly right off. <laughs> oh my god, alright, we're packing this thing up and we're getting it out. This thing fails! Fail! I remember in this moment I was in infuriated with Coleman because I was convinced that they had made a subpar product. That was of course before I went in the house and opened up my weather app only to discover that it was a purple colored cell over the area. We lost power, we lost multiple trees, and news reports that night said that gusts were up to 70 miles per hour. No tent is going to hold up to that. So I figured that the Coleman tent deserved a second chance. Now, into day two of testing. Well guys, we're back for round two of Coleman Sun Dome storm testing. Now, last night's storm was just insane. I mean, it was off the charts. When I initially set up the tent, I thought we were gonna get just kind of the outskirts of the storm. Well, that storm gained a ton of momentum as it moved towards us, and we ended up having winds in excess of 50 miles per hour. And we had some pretty big hail, too. In fact, we lost power in the house, and there was over 5,000 customers that were out of power with lots of storm damage. So I think I might have been a little critical on the tent when I was shouting out, Dead Crow, Dead Crow. So we've got a storm again today. And in this one, we're expecting winds in the 30 mile per hour range. Well, you can hear the rain. We've got a nice light thunder shower coming down. And I've got the window in the back fully open. Now, the storm is coming in from the opposite side, but I have no rainwater, no spray, no splashback coming through, through this window while it's open. It's raining so 
hard. That is some serious, serious rain. you guys can hear me over the rain. Wow! It's so loud in here. Still dry. Still dry. Hey, look at that. We are bone dry. How did the Coleman Sun Dome stack up? It was waterproof with no leaks. The vent stayed open and there was no condensation, and the tent stayed put. Even when it was blown down, there was no wind damage. Coleman Sundome gets a score of A+. Next up, Coleman Instant Cabin Tent. The Coleman Instant Cabin Tent was subjected to a pretty thorough rain test. In fact, we even encountered some icy slushy conditions and some snow during this test. The tent was left up for a 24 hour period, during which it sustained rain up to 20 out of the 24 hours at a light to moderate rate, even experiencing a wintry mix and some snow. So how did the Instant Cabin Tent hold up? Let's find out. Oh, the wind's picking up. Uh-oh. Oh, the thunder's getting pretty serious. It's starting to get pretty windy. Hoo-hoo. Oh my god! Oh, the thunder's getting real! Wow, it's going to be a wild night in here tonight, guys. It's been raining for about three hours, and so far I'm dry. I'm really impressed with this little tent. It's doing a great job. Yeah, still dry. Even down in the corners. Yep, we're still dry. Let's check our seams. Looks like we're okay. That. she's bone dry that is excellent all right let's head in and let's get a closer look this is really really nice so we've got a little bit of snow on the tent walls which you know that's to be expected you know this is a three season tent after all it is not a four season tent it held up extremely well so we'll take a closer look at the seams here you can see there's some snow on the outside of the tent but there is nothing in the corner of the tent and all along the side it is completely dry even these seams here at the edge completely dry and when i touch the tent right no no condensation on the inside which is which is really really fabulous overall the coleman instant cabin tent performed phenomenally in the storm it did not leak the seams held and it remained waterproof and even with the added extra weight of the snow the tent still kept its waterproof seal the tent stood up to some serious wind without budging overall the coleman instant cabin tent earns a grade of a plus now let's talk about the Coleman 10 person darkroom cabin tent, which underwent the same storm that you just saw, except had a drastically different outcome. Initially, this tent performed pretty well, demonstrated by a pretty good ability of the rain fly to shed copious amounts of water. However, there were some problems with respect to window placement with where the rain fly was letting the water drip. With the rain fly dripping directly onto the seams of the window, with the water eventually collecting in a pool in an area where the bathtub floor and tent body seam met. Not good. The front door, well, take a look at that one for yourself. And let's just say this tent doesn't hold up the greatest in the wind. This is directly underneath the side window. We have, of course, it's iced up now, but we do have some water that pooled here 
and we also have water along the other window on the other side so you get a little bit of water along both of the windows so those are the points i found where this tent did leak so if it's raining really heavily this fly kind of sags in the middle like so and it causes everything to fall directly over the entryway when it rains it kind of bows a little bit and you get kind of this little mini waterfall that falls right down on the inside of the tent the 10 person dark room cabin tent was a disaster from start to finish it was very unstable in the wind and thankfully for this test we didn't experience high gusts of wind or else that tent would have been in the next cabin the design of the rainfly is just ridiculous and needs to be completely redesigned. There are additional tie-out points that needed to be added above each of the entryways, as well as additional tie-out points to the rainfly at the side, and some other system to keep the rainwater from falling directly onto the seams of the tent body. Overall, this tent earns a score of a C. It is a tent that you could use in fair weather conditions as long as it's not breezy and the zippers operate well and it's fairly spacious. Even with the 20 hours of rain that we experienced during this test, there was some leakage along the side windows and in front of the entryways, but the center of the tent where people would be sleeping did remain dry, so it wasn't a complete fail. Now let's talk about the Coleman pop-up tent. Unfortunately, the Coleman pop-up tent did not get to undergo a full storm test because it didn't even make it that far. When I initially set this tent up, it had zipper split. The front zipper became completely misaligned and because of that, I was unable to close the front door, meaning that that tent would have leaked. So therefore, it was an automatic fail. I would like to repeat this test in the future with another Coleman pop-up tent, and I'll update you guys during that video. But for right now, I'm going to have to say, steer clear of the pop-up tent. It earns a grade of F. This tent has a terrible zipper, terrible door design. I really can't recommend that anybody gets this tent. If you're still having a tough time trying to decide on what type of tent to purchase, click right over here to be taken to that video. Or if you want to check out any of the reviews of the tents featured in this video, click right down below.